Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm so excited to be sitting here filming today. It is my first time filming on my new Canon camera and it is also my first video of 2020. And to kick off the new year, we're going to be going in with this bad boy right here. It is the Melt Morte palette. I'm, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Morte. It says like right here. I don't know if that's going to focus. Uh, yeah, this palette just totally screams to me. It's the skull here, half of the skull. I, I need to get the other palette so I can put them together and make the full skull. But oh my goodness, you guys. We open this up, you get a cool long size mirror, but these shades, oh my goodness. I have never been so inspired by a palette in so long. I just, I cannot wait to dive into this. So yeah. Without further ado, if you want to see three looks using this bad boy, then this is the video for you. Alright guys, so I already have this eye primed and I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyeshadow primer. I love this stuff. So let's just hop right into it. I'm going to zoom you in so we can all kind of see what is going on here and so excited for these colors the first shade I'm going to go in with is oh, I'm gonna kill all of these names I know I am Legrimas it is this amazing blue green teal shade here and I'm going to just start putting that all into my crease, kind of as like my transition. I'm doing circular motions. And I'm going to take a little bit more and just build it up until it's the color that I want. I'm just going to stamp it in and then circular motions, windshield, back and forth. That's a beautiful, beautiful shade. All right, now I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to go in with Pantheon, which is this gray shade. It's like almost black, but it's gray. And I'm going to put this in the inner and outer corners a little bit. I think I want to do like a halo eye on this side. Once I have it stamped in the inner and outer corner, I'm just going to lightly drag it through that crease. On that same brush, I'm going to go in with Noche Eterna, which is this deep blue. And I'm going to put this right on top of where I just laid that darker gray shade. And then again, just going to drag it through that crease. These colors are just beautiful. Just taking a bit more of that blue, navy blue shade. I'm just going to build this up a little bit. 
Oh. Seriously, these colors are just so pigmented, but yet they're blending into each other just seamlessly. It's amazing. Now I'm going to go back in with that first light turquoisey color and I'm going to bring this up around and just kind of soften this line. Now I'm going to take just a little bit of my Anastasia eye primer and I'm going to cut the center of my halo out. So I'm just going to put it in the center of my lid here. I'm just using this Juvia's Place small definer brush. Now, I'm going to take my MAC 239 brush and I'm going to go into the shade Katrina, which is this deep, sparkly blue shade. And I'm going to just put this on the edges here. leaving the direct center open. And the same brush, I'm just gonna flip it over. I'm going to go in with Angelito right here, which is this shimmery turquoise, and that is going to go directly into the center of my lid right here. And I'm just gonna kind of tap over and blend the light in with the dark there. And I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to take the deep navy blue shade and I'm going to put it on the inner and outer edges of my lower lash line. I'm going to take that shimmery teal shade and put that directly in the center. All of these I've been using dry so far. I just want, want to point out I have not gotten any of them wet and they are performing absolutely beautifully. I'm going to take my first brush I used and just kind of with no extra product on it sweep around here around all the edges and then I'm going to take a clean pointy brush and take the shade Calica which is this highlighty shimmery oh I just dug my nail in it today is just not my day we're going to put this right in the inner corner And I'm also going to bring it right underneath the brow bone. All right, that is all I'm gonna do for this eye for the moment. We will do 
I'll hop off and do liner and lashes and everything once both eyes are on. So, let's zoom you out for a moment as I regroup. Uh, the next eye, I want it to be a little sharper, so I am going to go in with one of these e.l.f. Cosmetics um, lash, not lash, but like eyeshadow strip things. I, do, I don't have any foundation or anything like that on right now because I'm going to be taking this off to do my third look, but I do have primer and stuff on my face and serums, so this doesn't want to stick very well. Alright, I'm going to go back in with my Anastasia Eye Primer because I've just been absolutely obsessed with this stuff lately. The best eyeshadow primer, hands down. Oh. I feel like I'm just rambling. I haven't filmed in so long. And I do apologize if anything is going weird. I'm using this camera for the very first time. So excited. My husband told me that my YouTube quality videos sucked. And for Christmas, he bought me a brand new Canon Rebel SL2. So excited. So I hope that the video quality is better. Let me know in the comments below if it is or if it is not. All right, now that we have the eye primed and ready for takeoff, I'm going to once again zoom you in, but this time to the other eye. And I really wanna play with like these reds and stuff. All right, so I'm going to go right in with Corazon, Corazon, I'm not sure how, but it's this bright, insane red color. And I'm going to start by just stamping it in this outer corner. I am building it up a little bit and then I'm just going to bring it through kind of to the middle portion. I'm not going to bring it all the way to the front of my eye. I feel like I still had a little bit of blue on that brush so I'm just taking a clean brush because I really want this red to be like red. There. That's a little better. Alright. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of Sangria. Sangria. This second darker red. And I'm just going to deepen up the outer edge here a little bit, just by stamping it. Slowly, I'm just like dipping it in one time and then going back because these shadows are so extremely pigmented. You really don't need a lot on your brush. Okay, I kind of like how that's going. I'm going to use the same brush that I used for the other eye because I'm going to go in with that same crease shade that we used. And I'm going to run this lightly just over the edge of this red here. And 
I'm going to bring this into the inner corner here. And just going back in with the red a little bit, the bright red, just to re kind of bring that red back out. All right, now I'm going to go back in with that Anastasia eye primer and we're gonna cut out this crease. So I'm just taking my Juvia's Place 002 small definer brush and we're gonna cut this bad boy out. Now I'm going to take Langrimas and I'm going to put that all over well not all over we're going to put it we're gonna start right in the center I think And then I'm going to take Noche Eterna and I'm going to put that on the outer edge. Now I'm going to go in with Angelito and this time I am going to use this shade wet if I can find here it is Mac Fix Plus I'm going to put that right in the center and I'm gonna kind of bring it right over that other teal shade Right, we're gonna cover the whole the whole thing with that I think why not going to take a small brush and go in with that deep navy blue shade a little bit and just smooth in those lines just a tad And I'm going to take a mix of the two reds we were using and I just want to kind of put it on the outer corner here. I really don't know what I'm doing guys if you haven't noticed. <laughs> just kind of winging it. Alright, now I'm going to take this pointy brush and the shade Calica. I'm going to use it wet with a bit of MAC Fix Plus. I'm going to put that right in the inner corner. I'm going to drag it up a bit. And I'm also going to swipe a bit of that directly under the brow bone. All right, I think that's kind of looking where I want it. I'm going to peel this sticker off. I'm going to take the bright red called Corazon, Corazon, I don't know how to say these names. And I'm going to swipe it right underneath.
All right, I'm going to zoom you out a little bit. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay, I'm going to quickly jump off, put on some liner and lashes to go with these two eye looks, and then we'll come back for a closer look. Hang on. All right, I am back. I have liner and lashes, liner, liner and lashes on. For my lashes, I just put on the Too Faced Better in Sex. And for both eyes on my top, I use the Fenty. This is the Fly Liner. On this eye, I used ColourPop, this gold one, and on this eye, I used this pinkish, reddish kind of color from ColourPop. I'm, I love ColourPop liners, oh my goodness. But we're not talking about liners. We're talking about these eyeshadows. So let's zoom on in, shall we, and have a closer look. I threw on some other makeup because these eyes just looked out of place with a bare face. Look, I mean, oh my goodness. The colors are so vibrant. They're just absolutely gorgeous. So those are the first two looks. Let's zoom out. I'm going to start again with a fresh face and do look number three. All right, for the third and final look, I wanted to keep it kind of a little more light and bright. So I'm gonna show you how I did this eye. And I'm going to start by using Le Grima's right here. And I'm just taking it on this big fluffy brush and that is going to go all in my crease. I don't want it to be too awfully bright this time. And I'm bringing it up fairly high underneath the eyebrow there. Now I'm going to take a more squished brush and I'm going to take the shade Duelo right here and just a little bit because I don't want it too dark. I'm just going to cut this right into the inner or not the inner, the outer corner and drag it slightly through the crease. Take a little bit more, but remember, I, we're not making this one too dark. The last two looks we did were pretty dark and crazy. So I wanted this one to be more on the wearable, everyday kind of side, right? I'm also going to take Duelo right underneath. And I'm also going to dip into Legrimas, which is that first shade. And I'm just going to sweep that right underneath as well. Now taking my trusty Anastasia eye primer and I'm going to use this Anastasia concealer brush. Is that what it is? It doesn't even say on it. I'm just going to cut out this crease. Alright, then I'm going to take Angelito right here and I am going to use it wet with some MAC Fix Plus. And I'm going to put that on the outer portion 
outer half, I guess you could say. Now I'm going to go in with Calica right here and again I'm going to use it wet and this is going to go on the inner portion of my eye. I begin by just kind of like patting it down and then I start going into sweeping motions. I'm also going to bring it right in to my inner corner and kind of it down underneath the front part of my lower lash line. And I'm also going to take it right underneath of my brow bone. All right, I'm going to quickly throw, actually, no, I don't want to do like a full, I'm not doing a full liner on the top. Okay, I'm taking this little liner brush and the shade Noche Eterna, and I'm just going to create a bit of a liner in like the half, the outer half of my eye here, flick it up a little bit at the end, and lightly just kind of drag it through the front. Alright, now I'm going to hop off, I'm going to throw on some white in my waterline and throw on some mascara and we'll be right back. And I'm back. So before I zoom out, let's get up close. This is the final eye look for today. I, okay, let's zoom out. This palette right here, if you guys have been contemplating it, I cannot say enough good things about this palette. The shades are just unbelievable. The mattes, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mattes and three shimmers. Every color I, I used absolutely every color in this palette and I did not have a single issue with not even one of them. Um, yeah, I'm so happy that this is in my life and yeah, if you guys like this video please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and if you want to be notified of any upcoming videos, you know you gotta hit that bell. Also, please leave me a comment down below and let me know if my quality, my picture, all that is any better. Let me know if there's anything that I need to adjust on my camera as I'm still learning it. And yeah, until next time, I hope you all have a fabulous day.